Barbie had an identity crisis that triggered a realization that might make you question everything. For years, you probably thought that your self-doubts came from your lack of a certain body type, aesthetic, feature, how maybe you're too short, too fat, too skinny, too tall. Despite your best efforts, it's quite impossible to live your full life without these kinds of doubts pour in from time to time. Perhaps you noticed you were different from others in some ways and you pick and choose what it is you truly hate and the things you like. But what you're supposedly lacking is not why you feel that way. It all comes down to how you formed your identity and why it might be time to redevelop your identity. In philosophy discussions about identity, Sartre described the human experience in a way that rings true. Man is nothing else but what he makes of himself. In other words, you need to know who you are and you need to claim and form your identity. Maybe the dissatisfaction I feel isn't actually sourced to an unreachable beauty standard epitomized by a slender, blonde, Eurocentric ideal. Despite its strong influence and exasperation of the true issue, the real issue is not knowing who I really am. So I will grasp on the things that I can attach to who I am. Like, imagine you're on a boat, right? You're lost at sea, and in your bag is a compass, a map, and a telescope. Except you ignore all of the tools you have, which are your strengths, and you frantically paddle hoping you'll see land. That is how we act in the real world. We wander from place to place hoping we end up in a position of power, and with every push and paddle, we push ourselves to become more beautiful and to find partners who give us validation and to be in this world where we can just find anything we can take it and attach it to our identities because we believe that this is giving us value except the concept of beauty becomes confusing and manipulative by an unrelenting profitable industry and the concept of a high status partner gets reduced to these crazy bare minimums the essence of a pick me girl is vividly portrayed through ken's narrative so in barbie land men take on a similar role to the role of women in reality they are of lesser social status and they seek validation and reciprocation from the Barbies. If the Barbies do not return these feelings, the Kens will experience these feelings of worthlessness and they feel so self-limited. This is a classic pick-me situation. Pick-me's are just people who are lost in the loop of seeking validation so that they can hold on to a small piece of value so that they can self-identify with that. They need others to be the marker of their own personal value because they have not identified who they are and why their existence is already important. Ken's character was not only relatable to women who feel that way but it's also relatable to men ken struggles with rejection and we can see him act in ways that make him no longer feel unworthy and that shift in power begins to occur ken began to latch onto things like financial power big cars pretty women and the feeling that he is above other kens to relieve his feelings of unworthiness the message points to solution which is in finding ways to appreciate who you are beyond your achievements and beyond your conventional beauty the philosopher Nietzsche once said, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. The essence of our personal identity is found within our why, our core values, our beliefs, our passions, the things that truly drive us. Identity is not something that we can just passively accept from external resources, like society's definition of success and wealth and power and attractiveness. It is instead a deep, personal understanding of who we are, independent of that external validation. The film strongly mirrors philosophical concepts such as existentialism and the idea of radical freedom. It emphasizes the idea that we are all responsible for our own lives and decisions and that this responsibility is the cornerstone of true identity. The person who relies on other people's views for their self-worth will always feel like a leaf in the wind who is so easily blown away, yet the person who defines their identity internally is like a tree firmly rooted in the ground able to withstand the shifting winds of external opinion both barbie and ken's journey of self-discovery parallels the existential journey of many individuals in society the feeling of being in the world without truly understanding why we are in the world can lead to this deep sense of alienation and dissatisfaction this emotional turmoil often emerges as a desperate quest for external validation beauty, wealth, power, all perceived as the key to a fulfilling life. Yet, when these pursuits fail, the results are often despair
despair, confusion, and a profound sense of worthlessness. The film closes with the understanding that embracing our individual identities, unique and diverse, brings a sense of fulfillment and peace that external validation cannot match. Barbie's identity crisis is a mirror to society's own identity crisis, a wake-up call to introspect, to redefine our understanding of ourselves.